Hello, it's Anne Murphy here. How are you? Coming in live to the group. I'll just give everyone a couple of minutes to get on and we'll get started. It's probably right in the middle of dinner time for a lot of you, but I'm trying to be fair and take into account the people on daylight saving so it's not too late and be glad when daylight savings is over. I wish we had it, but Anyway, I'll just check to see I'm going live in the group. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Yes, I'm live in the group. So um, for those that don't know me, my name's Anne Murphy from Domesplicity and I created the Shop Smart Eat Well program. I didn't really create anything. I just um, am grocery shopping and cooking just like my mother and grandmothers used to do. And it's probably the complete opposite to what everyone's been doing the last um, few years with meal planning and that sort of thing. It's something that I've never done is meal planning. I don't think it works for me, but if it works for you, that's great. Hi, Jill. How are you? Nice to see you here tonight. If you're here, say hi. If you're catching me on the replay, just type hashtag replay, but let me know you're here and um, say good day. So tonight I just wanted to um, share with you a few ideas on how you can save money on takeaway and when you join the group, I ask if you do buy a lot of takeaway food or not. And there are quite a few that do, and there's quite a few that don't. So um, that's okay. But I know, hi, Sandra, how are you going? It's early there for you um, still, isn't it? Um, yes, the um, there's a few that do buy takeaway, and there's a few that don't. But the whole purpose of me coming in tonight is to is for those people who are struggling to make ends meet and who do tend to rely on takeaway meals as um, as an option especially when you've already spent three two or three hundred dollars a week on groceries and you know you can't be bothered cooking or you're sick or for whatever reason you're out and about and it's just easy to pop in and um, buy takeaway on the way home and heaven forbid it's um, you know this it's been made so easy for you now to uh, get takeaway from absolutely any place um, probably within a 20 kilometer radius now with uber eats something that i um, have never used nor will i ever use i had to even look it up to find out how much it cost because i didn't have any idea but um you know i won't be going down that path because i just think um it's way too un too um, expensive and just unnecessary but anyway um, so the reason why we buy takeaways I guess is obvious you know it's convenient it saves you time especially when you're tired you know we're all tired we're all busy especially those people who work out of the home um, you know you get sick your children might get sick uh, so many different reasons why you um, do buy it and I guess at the end of the day, the occasional takeaway isn't going to hurt. It is it is a treat. It's nice to have the night off from cooking. And, um, you know, if you can find something. Hello, Barb. How are you? Nice to see you here tonight. Um, it is nice to have a night off. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with a takeaway if you can afford it and include it into your budget. But if it's something that you tend to rely on a lot, there's a few things that you can do. Um, or should I say keep stocked in your fridge freezer and pantry for those quick and easy nights and I can see some people in our group already do that and that's fantastic so it's something that I do and my kids love it they really look forward to it I, I'll admit I refuse to set foot in a McDonald's store I hate McDonald's I hate the way it tastes I hate the way it looks it looks nothing like it does in the pictures and to me it's just a complete and utter waste of um, money. I do prefer Hungry Jacks if we are out and about somewhere and 
um, you know, that happens to be the takeaway of choice. Uh, as a special treat, I do prefer that, but um, McDonald's, I just, I refuse to buy McDonald's. So I'm just going to go through a few options, um, takeaway options, and what, what sort of things you can uh, use that you've probably got in your pantry already, or just things to kind of, you know, if your budget per week is um, $100, $150, buying these things and keeping them in your uh, pantry, fridge and freezer, and just keeping them in a little spot where you know that they're your go-to emergency meal, um, like a meal deal, I guess, you know, your little emergency stash for those nights when you are tired and you're, or you're sick or, um, you know, you just can't be bothered. Or we just tend to have them on a Saturday night. Saturday night is our movie night. So we always have like a fake away type dinner option and the kids love it. Um, I'm going to start with pizza. Now I use absolutely anything as a pizza base. If I'm home make, if I'm making the pizza bases from scratch, I use the um, full fat Greek yogurt and self raising flour recipe, which um, off heart it's um, I think a cup of yogurt to one and a half cups of flour, and you can double that. You can make them up and just keep them in a little ball and keep them in the freezer and just pull them out um, the an hour or so before you're ready to make pizzas. And you've always got pizza bases um, ready to go. But I've got, at the moment, I've got Lebanese bread in the freezer. I've got tortillas. Um, I've got Turkish bread. You can make pizza subs from bread rolls. They don't have to be long bread rolls. They can be uh, round bread rolls. Even toast, you know, um, a piece of bread with just typical pizza fillings, um, pizza toppings on it is a perfectly good option for a quick um, meal idea for pizza to stop you going out or getting um, delivery. Now for the pizza based sauce, we've nearly all got um, tomato sauce like ketchup, we've got barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, aioli, um, you can flavour those things uh, with whatever you like. You can buy um, pizza sauce in a squirty bottle and keep it in the fridge. Uh, you've got, um, you can use passata, you can use tin tomatoes, just about anything for the sauce on a pizza base. Um, then we've nearly all got cheese. I always buy a kilo block of um, cheese, plus I also buy a 500 gram bag of grated cheese, especially for pizzas, because it's just a little time saver. And I don't think it's very expensive to buy the Coles home brand grated cheese. Um, things I keep in the freezer as far as meat goes is I've always got ham in the freezer for lunches so um, I can choose ham, bacon, you know my son loves a meat lovers style pizza so I put ham, bacon, salami, I buy the little um, packs of, uh, two packs of salami and keep them in the freezer and you can just peel it, peel off however many slices you want frozen and then just still keep them in the freezer. Um, Vegetables, you know, you've got, we've often got capsicum, onions. Um, I'm, I'm not one of these um, pizza lovers of, you know, these fusion type pizzas where they might might be a Moroccan pizza or a Thai pizza. I just like sort of typical Italian style um, toppings, but you can really let your imagination go wild and, and look at the menus from some of these pizza places for inspiration and just learn to keep some of those toppings on hand. You know, leftover uh, browned mints that you, you might have uh, made for something else. A handful of that sprinkled on it. Um, your vegetables, I was talking about vegetables. Um, yeah, onion, capsicum, um, basically anything, I guess. Uh, things that you can keep in your pantry and then um, keep them in the fridge. Things like olives, jars of olives. Um, jars of char-grilled um, capsicum, different types of relishes to mix in with your pizza base sauce, um, tin pineapple, I'm not a fan of pineapple on my pizza but you know if you've got tinned pineapple in the um, pantry you can always use that and then whatever you don't use you can use the juice for something else like a drink and then you can freeze the left leftover pineapple and make turn it into a cake or muffins or use it for a sweet and sour and keep that in the freezer 
and um, then if you add some garlic bread, just mix up some butter with some crushed garlic and you've got a um, homemade pizza meal. So um, they're pretty easy to put together and, and quick. I know I kind of like use the mindset, you know, I'm tired, um, I'm really hungry, I could go out and buy it. But then when I think of the money value, the, the money that it's going to cost me, and I've got everything on hand, uh, that's the telling factor for me to make it at home. And really, like, I don't want to be slaving in the kitchen to do it. These sort of things only take 10, 20 minutes. And my children are old enough to help me, and um, they usually make their own, and they get a bit of a kick out of it. I sort of set all the toppings up, and then they make their own. And, um, you know, they even make them when we're having something else or for a snack. So, you know, you could possibly save yourself $30, uh, 20 to $30 on um, pizza, sun-dried tomatoes. Yep, that's if you like those sort of things, Barb. Um, you know, you know what sort of pizzas you like. Just keep those things on hand in your pantry, fridge or freezer for those um, emergencies. I think I might have mentioned I keep all of my bread in the freezer so it's ready to go at any time. Um, and it, yeah, if you've got all those things already, you're going to be saving yourself twenty to thirty dollars. So the next one was um, Chinese food. I wanted to talk about, and I've just looked at my local um, takeaway places to get these prices, but they they differ from um, everywhere else. And if you if you go the Uber Eats option, then you've got delivery on top of that. And I think it's about anywhere from four ninety five to seven ninety five plus a kilometer per kilometer charge. So. I'm not sure exactly how much it would work out, but it's just an unnecessary expense if you are trying to uh, save a few dollars. So I saw um, a pack from my local place, um, my local Chinese, uh, for three people is $56. So um, my daughter's so fussy, she would probably um, barely eat the fried rice if we were to get that. So a three pack would do us. Um, so, you know, we've nearly all got rice. Um, if we're rice eaters so um, I'm making rice tonight so I'll make two or three cups up of rice and just always keep them in um, you know one or two cup portions in the freezer and to defrost that all I do is I put it in a bowl and pour over uh, boiled water from the jug and then I just um, let it defrost and then um, strain it so I've got fluffy white rice ready to go in a couple of minutes so with that rice that you've got on hand in the freezer, you can easily make a fried rice. You could make up a double or triple batch of fried rice and keep keep it already prepared in the freezer for those nights that you um, feel like a Chinese takeaway. You know, all you really need is some frozen peas, some chopped bacon and um, some scrambled egg mixed through it with soy sauce. I always sprinkle a little bit of chicken stock powder on my uh, fried rice, which gives it a more authentic flavour. But... Um, that's all you need. Now I'm not a lover of um, jars of sauce but you know for an emergency um, the Canton jar of sweet and sour or black bean sauce just kept in the pantry in that little spot you know your little emergency um, meal spot. Uh, you can all I've got a great uh, recipe for sweet and sour sauce on my website that um, just uses pineapple juice, tomato sauce, uh, veggie stock powder and a bit of vinegar and sugar I think and corn flour and it's really super easy and then you just add your pineapple and capsicum and onions or whatever else you want. Um, if you want like a sweet and sour I buy uh, crumbed chicken tenderloin fillets from Coles they're still $3.80 a box of 400 grams and there's eight in a pack and they're really good for like a sweet and sour chicken or um, honey chicken you know all you've got to do is really heat up some honey and and toss it through for a quick honey chicken lemon chicken just make a simple lemon sauce um, to go over that um, any of your meats you know if you've got um, stir fried beef or uh, stir you know chicken strips or chicken breast you can use fish frozen fish um, fillets fresh fish crumbed fish um, things like two-minute noodles make a great quick little stir-fry uh, 
or the long life noodles that you buy where near the where the rice is you can sometimes pick up two packs for five dollars and within there is two packs so you know depending if you wanted to make like a bit of a chinese banquet you could make up a few dishes you know i know if you're feeling tired you don't want to go to all this trouble but you know you could even um, plan for it a little bit um, in advance um, or your frozen and canned veggies you know if you wanted to just keep some asian style stir fry veggies in the freezer especially for this um, nights like this or canned veggies like um your tins of baby um, baby corns, um, bamboo shoots, they're always good to have in the cupboard. And also, if you wanted to make it a little bit special, um, just um, add once a month or once every uh, six weeks. Coles Home Brand um, have a box of 12 spring rolls for $2 and a box of 15 mini dim sims for $2. So... They're really handy just to have um, in the pantry or in the freezer for your quick and easy Chinese night. Now, $55.99 um, for three people, and I've probably rattled off maybe less than $10, maybe $15, depending on the size of your family. And I know the jarred sauces aren't, you know, the best um, thing to have, but for a quick and easy meal that can just, you know, just open in a jar, it's going to be a lot um, better and um, also save you so much money. You know, 50, $55 compared to, say, $15, you are saving yourself $40. And, you know, go and shout yourself a new hairdo or a manicure or something or take the family out to the beach and get some hot chips or whatever. Um, you know, rather rather use your money on on memorable experiences than paying for someone else to cook the food for you. That's the way I look at it. So burgers. Burgers is one of our favourites and I've actually um, named our um, regular burger, burger meal deal, I guess you could call it, um, McMurphy's. And when my son says, what's for dinner? And I say, we're having McMurphy's. He goes, yes, he loves it. So make it a bit, bit, bit of a novelty. And... Um, I always buy, I can always manage to get um, bread rolls when they're um, marked down um, or even at $3 or $3.50 for six. And hi, Callie, how are you? Good to see you here tonight. Um, yes, yeah, so I always have bread rolls in the freezer and, you know, you can use sliced bread for a burger. That doesn't matter either. Um, so you've got your bread rolls for about $3. I had a look at McDonald's um, prices and they've got a, a meal deal for $19.95 or one for... Twenty-five ninety-five. Well, that wouldn't even uh, be suitable for us because my daughter doesn't eat burgers um, because of all the sauces. She would only eat chicken nuggets and chips, so it'd be way more expensive um, for us if we were to buy McDonald's. Um, you can buy the pre-made burger patties, and in the frozen section of Coles, you can get them ten for seven dollars. Now, I've never tried them, so I can't um, I can't tell you um, what they taste like. Uh, but they do have um, four for six dollars in the meat department as well. So a dollar fifty for um, a pre-made burger patty is still pretty cheap. But I always just make my own with mince. And you know, I always I get a two kilo pack of mince and I sort of um, make it up into uh, four or five different um, sizes. Usually about four sizes as, as big as my hand. And I bulk it out a lot with vegetables, dried breadcrumbs, beaten egg, and they kind of um, expand a bit. My daughter will have a plain um, homemade meat patty with melted cheese on a bread roll and the hot chips, of course. So, um, you know, you don't even have to use mince. You can have a fillet of fish style burger with fish fingers or crumbed fish or uh, grilled fish. You can use chicken. You can use those crumb chicken tenderloin fillets like I, I mentioned. Um, chicken schnitzels, just grilled chicken. Um, the salad, you know, I always have lettuce and tomato in the fridge no matter what. I might run out of tomatoes, but um, we still have lettuce on the burgers. You know, you can cook your onions. You can have grilled pineapple, um, bacon, make it a works burger, beetroot. You know, you've all if you've got tin beetroot in the in the cupboard, uh, cheese, 
all your sauces we've all got barbecue sauce and tomato sauce or chili whatever and then you just buy your two dollar or two dollar fifty bag of um, frozen chips and you've got a burger and chips meal deal buy um, a bottle cheap bottle of soft drink for the family to make it a little bit special the home brand cold soft drinks are only 90 cents a bottle and you know you've got a burger meal deal for again around ten fifteen dollars compared to twenty five um, to thirty five dollars and they're really not um, they don't really take all that long you've really only got to um, form the meat up into a patty or you know even do that beforehand to make life easy for yourself the next one is Thai food I used to like um, eating Thai food um, takeaway when I was um, single and we had a really great little Thai place around the corner but uh, it's not something that we order now um, because I don't think the the children would eat it but I just saw my local place has um, a $41 pack for two spring rolls one curry one stir fry um, dish and two rice serves so that's only for two people so it would cost a lot more if we were to get it for our family of four I always have tin coconut milk in the um, pantry I just have one one can um, every shop so if I use it up I always make sure I replace it uh, things like your Thai curry paste they've got lots of different um, Thai um, food paste kits and all sorts of things I think someone in the group recently um, just used the um, oh she was on Master Chef Australia Marion Marion's um, Thai curry paste and she said it was really delicious sometimes you can find those things half price and again just keep them in the pantry for those quick and easy nights um, some of the sauces that you can keep on hand um, all the time to create a more authentic Thai flavor are sesame oil fish sauce uh, lime juice I buy the lime juice and lemon juice in the uh, green and yellow bottles and keep them in the fridge um, sugar we've all got sugar uh, any kind of chili and soy sauce we've nearly all got those uh, sorts of things uh, you can use um, powdered gym, ginger if you don't have ginger paste or um, crushed ginger if you want to add a little bit of ginger to it so um, the, yeah the flavor pastes the rice again you know cook up double or triple when you're making um, boiling rice so you've got uh, rice to go with your Thai food you know Thai soups are also really good like a laksa which is a really saucy uh, type of um, Thai dish um, and then you can buy your frozen spring rolls or whatever to make a you know a bit of a Thai banquet so again you know you're just using things that you've got plus you know the um, tin of coconut milk and the flavor paste um, so you know you're only going to buy those extra couple of things and you've got a Thai meal just in case if you feel like Thai takeaway uh, Mexican um, it's not cheap we've just got a new um, Guzman and Gomez store um, near us and it's I don't find it's very good value at all um, the other Mexican place I've that We've got is um, really expensive and you don't get a lot of food so they have like a combo entree for $18 and mains could be anywhere from $20 to $30 so you're looking at nearly $100 for a Mexican um, takeaway meal and you know this is one of the easiest meals to, to get together uh, if you can I haven't done it for a while I think we went through a bit of a nachos um, stage there we were having it once a fortnight but we're due to have it again but I always buy um, plain corn chips two bags of plain corn chips for a quick and easy nachos meal and you know my daughter only wants cheese and a little bit of meat on hers but I fully load it with avocado and salsa and um, ground beef or ground chicken leftover chicken from the roast chicken is always good on a nachos um, so you got tacos as well tacos are really uh, cheap and um, easy to have in the pantry uh, any of your soft tortillas if you look in the Mexican section of your supermarket down the bottom the home brand ones are just as good as any and um, they st they keep in the pantry and then when um, you've opened the packet if you don't use them all you can put them in the freezer and then use them again for a wrap or um, 
uh, pizza base, that sort of thing. Or your meats, you know, you can um, you can make those soft tortillas into uh, burritos. Um, you can even use the soft tortillas to make your own corn chips, just to dip in a chili or or whatever. But you've got your ground beef, your frozen fish for fish tacos, crumbed chicken for crumbed chicken uh, soft tacos. Hi, Rosina. Nice to see you here tonight. Um, or your salad, same again, lettuce and tomato. And you can, you know, keep jalapenos in the fridge. Um, chipotle sauce. You know, all these little extras that you just pick up once every six weeks, eight weeks, just to add a little bit of variety to your shopping. Um, salsa, I, the jars of salsa, the home brand ones are really quite good. And they're only about two or three dollars. Um, your cheese, same, you've always got cheese in the fridge. Kidney beans, canned kidney beans, um, bulk it out if you don't have a lot of meat. And you can also um, mash them up and make like a, um, a bean dip as well. Sour cream, if you want to um, buy sour cream, but you can make sour cream from normal cream by just adding a bit of lemon juice or vinegar. I think it's about a tablespoon of vinegar or lemon juice to a cup of cream. It's a good way to use up cream if it's um, going, um, starting to get to the expiry date. Um, and that was, um, you know, a hell of a saving on Mexican food. And it's one of those foods, everywhere, all kids love tacos. My kids love burritos, they love nachos, and it's just such an easy meal um, to put together. Um, fish and chips, that's another one that our family loves. And, you know, you've got your frozen chips, your uh, frozen crumbed fish, or I buy the one kilo pack of frozen fish fillets that are, I just noticed this week they've gone up to $7.65, I think, but it's $7 for a kilo of frozen fish fillets, and there's eight in a pack. So what I've done, even when, um, you know, I haven't felt like cooking and, you know, you think, oh, you know, kids want fish and chips, or what can I make that's easy? is I've taken the, just two fish fillets for the four of us and just cut them into thin strips. And then I make a really quick batter out of um, self-raising flour and water and a bit of salt and pepper and just make it into a batter consistency, like a thick custard consistency, and just dip the fish in that and shallow fry it. And they love it. And, it, you know, you'd be surprised at how far two um, fish fillets about that size will go between a family of four with the chips. Um, you can make a really quick tartare sauce with mayonnaise and gherkin relish. So if you've got gherkin relish in the fridge for sandwiches, you know, throw together a quick um, tartare sauce. Um, I've got the life, long life lemon juice if you like lemon on your fish and chips. You can also add, um, sometimes what we do for a special occasion is we have our own um, homemade uh, fish, what's it called, seafood platter. So, you know, do do the fish up, do the chips. Uh, you can buy a pack of crumbed calamari for 14 pieces for $7. Uh, you can buy a 360 gram pack of prawn, crumbed prawn cutlets for $6 from Coles. And I'm not sure how many's in that box, but um, make a big platter and everyone helps himself. Put a little bit of salad on there lettuce, tomato, coleslaw, or potato salad, whatever you want. Um, and potato scallops or potato cakes, wherever you, whatever part of the country you're in, are really easy to make as well. Just really thinly slice the potato and same dip it in that um, simple batter of self-raising flour and water and shallow fry and you've got your own potato scallops and they taste really good as well. So, um, you know, you can imagine uh, fr fresh prawns as well from Coles um, they get, come in the deli section in a little uh, round um, container like that. They're six. Uh, they're six dollars, and there's quite a few prawns. They're peeled already, um, ready to go, and you can make yourself a beautiful um, seafood platter for oh, twenty dollars compared to God knows what. You know when you go out to eat. So um, another good option there. Um, I haven't covered. Uh, roast chicken uh, like your KFC type takeaway deals but I see Coles have a I think they call it a Southwest 
fried chicken in the chicken section. Hi Nicolin, nice to see you here. Um, potato scallops are nice, hey? Uh, lots of salt. Um, yeah, I've seen it and I nearly grabbed a bag and I thought, well, the kids aren't here this week, but it was only about $9, $9 for a fairly decent sized pack of um, KFC, KFC style um, chicken. Um, you can, you know, just throw that in the oven to cook with your chips, make a quick coleslaw if you've got it, um, you know, call into the supermarket if you need to on your way home, buy a roast chicken, you know, they're still around $10, a coleslaw and a potato salad and some bread or bread rolls, that's always another cheap option. Um, even if you, you know, absolutely can't be bothered doing anything, you know, cooking any of those things, um, you know, there's always baked beans on toast, spaghetti on toast. Bacon and eggs is always a really good option for dinner. You know, everyone loves that. You can have it on a plate um, or, you know, full English breakfast or you can have it on a sandwich. Um, even tea and toast. You know, there's many times I've been sick and I, when the children were, were younger and I was still a single mum, I would make the kids toasted cheese sandwiches and cut up some fruit. The glass of milk for dinner you know there's no hard and fast rules that we have to have you know a gourmet three course dinner every every night for um, our evening meal it's just food at the end of the day and we just do what we can so um, that's about all that I wanted to um, say about takeaway food tonight if you've um, if you're doing any fake away dishes or takeaway dishes um, please feel free to share them Italian's another one. I haven't bought Italian food um, out for um, I don't know how long, but you know, boiling a packet of pasta and a jar of sauce and browning some mince is um, better than anything when you're tired. And, and just think about I know you're tired, just think about the money that you're going to save. Um, and then by all means, make it, make it a date night, make it a family night out that you get takeaway or. Um, you go out for fish and chips by the beach or something. Make it, make it a real treat so that it's not something that you rely on all the time. And you'll just start to see, like I said, my kids love the McMurphy's burgers. Um, it's something that they look forward to. And, you know, they would rather that than the McDonald's, although my daughter would probably still like chicken nuggets from there, but um, we won't. So uh, just before I go to, um, to remind you that, the um, Shop Smart Eat Well 100% um, 100, 100 done for you service. The spots are filling up fast. I haven't checked lately, but I've started um, with some of those people that have already booked and paid. I've started working on their um, menu plan, their menus. Um, thank you, Barb. Um, Barb says, unbelievable range of ideas. I guess you just, the secret is find out what your favorite takeaway is, Barb, and look for a recipe and look for the ingredients and just learn how to recreate it at home as quickly as possible. So that's that's the secret. Um, yeah, so if you wanted me to do this for you, if you wanted me to set up your shop, whole entire um, Shop Smart Eat Well program, I can do that. Or like other um, lovely people in the group who I appreciate so much, who have bought my workbook and uh, have worked through it and set set themselves up for success and saving money and realizing this is just a really simple and easy process to do. Thank you. The Shop Smart Eat Well uh, workbook is also available. Um, I'll drop the link to that as well. So um, I'll be sharing my dinner here shortly at some point. We're still um, a loving, happy two couple um, household at the moment. The kids are still away. So that's probably why I'm laughing and feel so fresh and energized because there's no kids but they're still away in Melbourne and I'm not sure when they'll be back yet but I want to thank you very much for joining me and um, keep sharing your photos keep sharing your ideas don't forget to ask me questions if you get really stuck the night before you're due to do your shopping and you don't have many ingredients um, in your fridge I love coming up with ideas for new um, for meals so um, by all means ask the group there's some really great cooks in the group as well so um, I'm really lucky to have you all here and 
I really appreciate all of you. So thank you. And I'll look forward to catching up with you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.